African Union has actually taken a very strong stance on coup d'etats, unconstitutional changes of government since 2000 when it adopted the Lomé Declaration. And in several instances, we saw in Burkina Faso, for example, in 2014, there was a mass uprising and people wanted to um, oust the president, Blaise Compaoré. Then the military took over and the African Union, even in those circumstances, when it was clear that it was a popular ousting of the president, said, no, you need to put in place a civilian government, otherwise we won't recognize you, we will suspend you from the African Union and then mediation starts. So if there is a coup, um, in, in previous uh, uh, circumstances or in decades ago, military leaders would uh, take power and say, oh, but the people wanted me here, I'm just asking uh, an unpopular leader, and would just continue the Jerry Rawlings and, and those guys. But this has not been the case, and I suspect if in Zimbabwe today we see a coup d'etat, 